Yeah, I mean, you've got this amazing resource. We've got great sunny weather here in Queensland and it'd be a shame to waste it, wouldn't it? I grew up in Cairns and it was really normal to, you know, ride a bike down to the creek and go for a swim, just spend some time in the rainforest. When we were looking for a place to raise the boys, I wanted something similar where they could go out and explore. Wanted a, a power wall, I was curious about it. I knew the, you know, the quality of the Tesla car and the product, so we were using quite a bit of electricity with the ducted air. I thought, well, let's see how we can save some money and obviously help the environment. I knew the battery technology was good, but the form factor of the Tesla Powerwall, it has to look good as well and not take up too much room. It looks futuristic. They've spent the time on the design. It'll charge itself on off-peak power, midnight, and tide you over in the morning when you wouldn't be generating solar. It'll look at the weather forecast for the following day, and if it's gonna be overcast, it'll charge itself fully on the off-peak power so you're using the cheapest power during the day. use a decent amount of electricity and I've done the analysis myself and we've saved quite a bit. I reckon we'd save between two and a half and three grand a year. I've always been interested in the science of global warming even from a kid. I've always been conscious of it so yeah it's a good feeling. Yeah, I've been telling people that now my house runs on fresh sustainably sourced local electrons. My name's Clint Luna. I guess you could say my life's fully charged.